Dr. Mark Jangizi here with your science moment. Today I'm going to talk about collective hysteria, collective psychosis, mass formation, and really the terms that folks are using. Now, as you know, I've been talking about mass hysteria since, you know, March, uh, early March of 2020. I had this sort of well-known viral tweet that's been pinned to the top ever since about really the dangers here um, aren't primarily uh, this virus, which were already known then to be mild um, for almost all demographics, but really the dangers are due to the kinds of mass hysteria that sweep across society and are always the dangers for society and the ones that cause the most massive harms and the great democides and genocides. And um, and then, so I've been talking about, and I started a research institute, Free Ex, um, with Dr. Tim Barber, Free Ex, the Free Expression Group, which is really about these kinds of mass hysterias and understanding the uh, the emergent dynamics of uh, large groups of people and its dependence on free expression. And then Matthias Desmond, a psychologist, uh, has become went viral when he started talking about mass formation and uh, his book and in, in his, in his thoughts on totalitarianism. Now. People keep moving back and forth from mass formation to you know mass hysteria, and some people have been pointing out, no, we shouldn't call it mass psychosis, because in a psychosis, a psychosis is, or you know, a hysteria is, is somebody is hysterical, somebody is having a you know, psychotic, uh, they are individually crazy. So, in, so if you say it's a mass psychosis or a mass, mass hysteria, well, it's just a crazy person times you know a million, and that's not. Uh, what uh, mass psychosis or mass hysteria is. Meaning the modifier is to point out that it's a crazy that's not due to craziness at the level of the individual. What's broken is not in any head. That's the point. The modifier mass in front of crazy, you know, psychosis or hysteria, is to show that the what's got, gotten broken is at the level of the whole, at the emergent level. It's a collective hysteria. The individuals are fine. Something we've talked about in early, you know, science moment videos, you know, uh, 200 videos ago. Right? The individuals in a mass hysteria are not hysterical. They're not crazy. The craziness happens at the emergent level. It's by virtue of the network going wrong and leading to a kind of positive feedback loops, which lead to all of these kinds of things we talk about, these kinds of narratives which, which have blockchain-like properties, which are hard to unravel, and by virtue of these reputation networks, which usually help us move towards the truth, they break a little bit, especially with censorship and groupthink and all of these, they're much more likely to break, and they lead to, uh, you know, treating the outgroups as unclean and, you know, uh, justifying uh, banishing or you know prejudice against them all these kinds of things we talk about they're not due to anybody individually being crazy I would love it if it was just a bunch of individually crazy people much easier to deal with but when the craziness happens at the, the collective level the individuals are still smart they're not crazy they can argue cir argue back and you, and you just go in circles with them because they're rational and based on the narratives that they've built and the priors that got warped and all of these, they, they can argue amazingly rationally because it's they have a foundation for what they believe. One that's backed up by this broken network. Right. Now the problem with mass formation, switching to mass formation and just stopping there, well, it doesn't, there's, there's lots of mass formations. It, that is, there are tremendous numbers of emergent phenomena that happen in societies just fashion, you know, the way that we talk, the, the accents that we have, the, the fads that go through, all of these different kinds of things. There's lots and lots of mass effects, collective effects that are all over the place. If you just say mass formation and nothing else, well, there's no indication that anything is broken. The point, the whole point of talking about this is that something got broken at the collective level back in March of 2020. And if you just say mass formation all by itself, you're not referring to any ill Feature, feature of it. You need to have a term that indicates that there's something sick at the network level, and that's why either mass formation psychosis or mass formation, if you want the word formation in there, hysteria, but you gotta have hysteria or psychosis or something that indicates that there is a societal level sickness. And that was your science moment. If you're interested in the foundations of these sorts of things, Dr. Jim Barber in my first book on this sort of thing came out this summer. Expressly Human, get yourself a copy. That was your science moment.